Everyone has off days. It helps to have friends who are there to get you back on your feet. But how should they go about it? Let's take a look at how to cheer up each zodiac sign, starting with Aries. Aries would perk up if they were genuinely listened to. Unfortunately, Aries tends to be brushed off when they are upset. Everyone around them is used to Aries being an enthusiastic go-getter. So, when Aries isn't so up for a challenge, it rubs everyone the wrong way. Others may try to get Aries back in the game by bringing their favorite activities to them or trying to goad Aries into a competitive reaction. But all Aries needs and wants in those moments is for someone to sit down and ask what is wrong and listen, really listen to them. Aries is more sensitive than most people expect and their natural strength hides that. Next we have Taurus. Taurus would feel better having someone who cares hanging out with them. Having someone they love quietly lounging in the same room helps Taurus feel less alone. They may express why they are feeling down to that person, and after it creates an air of understanding. Sometimes the most powerful tool to cheer up others, especially a Taurus, is to be near them. They often feel alone with their worries and like they would be a burden to share with others. Creating a safe place for Taurus will bring them out of their shell. Next, we have Gemini. Gemini would like a friend they can vent to. In any case, where Gemini is feeling strong emotions, they need to talk it out. It works best if they have someone to use as a sounding board at the end. If they don't, though, Talking to themselves works pretty well, too. So long as the words and problems aren't stuck inside Gemini's head. Next, we have Cancer. Remind them of everything they have done that made the world better for others. Giving Cancer a reminder of their best traits can help them get out of their head. Cancer often forgets all the good they can give to others. Being told they have done well and are more than their negative thoughts about themselves can be immensely helpful. Next, we have Leo. Give them a hug. Leo loves to be showered with affection, especially when they aren't feeling good. Bring Leo things that make them happy. Ask if they have somewhere they'd like to go that would cheer them up. Leo always has a favorite place that makes them feel better be it a coffee shop, a road trip to a different town, or to the home of a trusted family member. Leo is all about their family, assuming they have a healthy one, and feels comfortable around them. Being around family is a good way to cheer up Leo. Next, we have Virgo. Give Virgo someone they can vent to. Virgo has a need to control their situation and can get through a lot all alone. But having someone to listen while they get those emotions out helps lift their mood. Don't try to give solutions, they've already thought of it. Each Virgo will have their own way of releasing negative emotions. Talking to someone or writing it down for this zodiac sign is a universal way to do so. Next, we have Libra. Libra will be glad if their friends brought over their pets and if Libra gets lots of hugs and chances to vent their problem. Libra has a tendency to get fixated on their problem or negative emotions. They will stew on them, trying to find a way to solve or fix whatever it is. Getting stuck in their head is a bad place for Libra to be. It leads to anxiety and an endless feedback loop that gets more and more worked up. Having a distraction such as pets, friends, or family around can put Libra out of it. It may not fix their problem, but it will pull Libra out of a mental state of endless what-ifs. Next, we have Scorpio. Scorpio isn't really into the idea of being cheered up. They got it handled. Though it wouldn't hurt if a friend was beside them showing their support without giving input or judgment on the decision Scorpio made. Scorpio often makes decisions a lot of others won't agree with. 
This comes from their deep sense of self and what they need, and how unwilling they are to let others walk all over them. Scorpio is secure in the choices they make, though it feels good to them when someone affirms it was the right thing to do. Next, we have Sagittarius. Take Sagittarius out of the environment that is making them upset. Nothing is worse than staying stuck in one place spiraling into depression. That's exactly what happens when Sagittarius gets upset. They need to physically get out of the place that is causing the depression. Their friends may not be able to help with the actual problem, but getting Sagittarius out of their room is a good start. Take Sagittarius on a walk or jump in the car and go find a place they enjoy. It will lift their spirits enough to get them out of their slump. Next, we have Capricorn. Don't ask Capricorn for anything. Capricorn is used to being the one asked for help. Instead, ask them how you can help them today. Is there anything they need or want to do? It will likely catch Capricorn off guard in a good way though they may be at a loss for words for a minute. Those kinds of questions aren't what they're used to hearing. This will make Capricorn happy to know someone is thinking of them while they aren't feeling great. Next, we have Aries. Aries prefers to work through things on their own. Giving them space without being pushy about when they will return will be a relief to them. A lot of times, others will want Aquarius to talk it out with them. That isn't their style. Aquarius needs time to process their thoughts and emotions around something that has upset them. Give them time to come to you when they are ready. Your Aquarius will thank you for it. Next, we have Pisces. Be there for Pisces and let them tell you what's upsetting them in their own time. If they want space, give them that. If they want you to stay and watch a movie while they cry, do that. Pisces wants someone in their corner who they know they can depend on for the hard days. A through thick and thin friendship is what Pisces looks for. And even if Pisces says they're okay, check in on them. They don't feel like they deserve love when they are upset. Be there for them and let them know that will never be the case. 